So good morning, um, I'm in a slightly different scenario, I'm just sitting here on my sofa at the minute. Um, today is a special day, I've got my coffee in hand. Good morning Britain's on the telly. I was going to have something to show you like um, The Office or Alan Partridge, but which is what I normally watch in the morning, but Netflix have decided to take both of them off. I don't know what. Their problem is with classic British sitcoms, but there we go. Um, pretty shocked to see that The Office was off. I knew they took Alan Partridge off recently. Um, I think I was trying to find the Christmas special on there last year. It wasn't on there. Um, and I just went to go and find The Office, just to put on the background, and yeah, it's gone. Anyway, that's not what we're going to talk about today. What we're going to talk about today is grading. So, um, I am going to be using MGC, Majesty Grading Service, to grade three cards. So, I'm going to be doing a little review on their service. Um, I'm going to see what uh, the grading's like, what the cards come back as, what the slabs look like. A full review. So, if you don't already know, Majesty Grading Service are a UK-based company. Um, and they are a grading company. So, they will like SGC, like PSA, like BGS, you send their cards to them, they will grade them 1 to 10, as you're already familiar with, um, and if you do get a 10, you get a gold uh, logo labelled card, which is pretty cool, and then it's gold on the background as well. They do loads and loads of cool stuff as well, and that they turn your cards into NFTs, um, but we'll be talking about that uh, a bit later on when we look through the website. So, what cards am I going to send off? I'm pretty much sending two PC cards off and a Pokemon card. So they do, at the moment, just do cards. They're uh, just signed with an uh, authenticator of autographs. Um, so you can look out for that soon as part of their service. And I believe they're also uh, altering the tabs or the, the slabs so that they can do patch uh, and relic type cards, uh, such thicker cards. And also, hopefully, they're going to add stickers to their service as well which I'm sure a lot of us UK guys do want to see, um, as a lot of us are Panini sticker collectors um, and have some old Panini stickers. I know I certainly do. Um, things like Maradona stickers or um, like things like Italia 90 or even things like Jack Grealish, Harry Kane uh, rookie stickers from sort of 2015-16. Okay, so without further ado, let me jump into the, the cards that I'm going to be sending off. Um, now the first one that we have is this. This is the Lewis Hamilton. Let's see if this is going to focus. There we go. So this is the Lewis Hamilton Tops Now. Um, this particular card is the second Tops Now card that they released of Lewis Hamilton. There is a yellow one with a background that I mentioned in videos before, which is way more expensive. Um, this one is much, much cheaper. So this one's gonna be way cheaper than the uh, yellow one that you go for but still does hold a little bit of value um, and it's the first, I'm pretty sure it's the first Formula One card that I picked up, so this one has a bit of uh, special sentimental value for me. Now, it wouldn't be a PC pickup or a PC grading video if I didn't have the man Roy Keane, so this is uh, Roy Keane's Pro Set card. Um, now, the reason I didn't go for the rookie card is I don't really have any in really good condition. Um, so this is the second year card. Uh, in his Forest jersey from 1991, I believe it will be. Um, or is it 1992? I think it's 1991. Um, some fair name. But there we go. Very, very happy with this. And this was the this one I had. Um, I'm not expecting a 10. If it comes back a 10, great. But it is an old card. The Pro Set cards are so easy to scratch. I opened up a whole box of Pro Set. If you want to see that, I'll link it up in the uh, the top somewhere. But I did open up a whole box, uh, two boxes of Pro Set cards, um, and no, I opened up one and I've still got one sealed. And uh, some of the cards just came out damaged straight out of the pack. So the card um, quality isn't the best. Um, so we'll see how we do. Hopefully, we do uh, quite well. And then for the third and final card, I did say we're going to have a Pokemon card. Um, so this one is the Grand Prix. 
promo card. So this is the Charizard Grand Prix promo. Um, this is a Japanese card. So it's got the Japanese back. Um, and it does pretty well. It's not, I think it probably, you could pick one of these up for 10, 15 pounds on eBay. Um, the prices did go really, really high at one point and then they sort of dipped. Um, but it's a card that I really, really like. It's a card that I was actually recommended by uh, a friend of mine, Luke Capone, who kind of messages me here and there. Um, and I, it's a card that I wouldn't have actually known about had I not been in this kind of sports cards community. So there was a few other cards that I thought, Pokemon cards that I thought oh, I had, but maybe I could send those, I'm not quite sure. But I felt like this one was kind of important, sentimental to me, because it's not a card that I would have bought without the knowledge of the kind of the community um, and someone saying, hey, have a look at this card might be a, a good pick up in the long run. So they're the three cards that I'm going to be sending off. Um, you've got the Roy Keane, the Lewis Hamilton and the Pokemon Grand Prix. So what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at the uh, MGC website. We're going to look at the sort of services that they offer. There's three different services, there's three different tiers that we're going to be looking at. We're going to send these cards off to go and get graded um, and then at the end of the video we're going to see what grades we got so i'm not going to split this up into multiple videos it's all going to be in one uh, big video uh, so i'm very very excited to see how these cards come back um, but for now let's uh, let's jump onto the uh, the computer uh, let's have a look at the services okay so we have now logged onto the computer we're on the majesty grading company website um, so this is the uk's premier premier TCG grading service. Um, you can see on the front page we've got a nice Charizard there from Vivid Voltage and a Lionel Messi 100 Club. Um, and now with the new, the brand brand new slabs, you'll see this MGC uh, logo here will be in gold when you get a 10, which is really, really exciting. Um, so there's a special offer up at the top. Use code SALE10 for 10% off your first order. Make sure you use that. Um, and you can go through the home page. They've got a nice bot at the bottom where it will answer any of your questions. Um, and you've got three tiers. So you've got the bronze, the silver, and the gold. I'm gonna be using the silver service. The main difference between the three is on the turnaround time. So bronze, two to eight weeks. Silver, a 14 day grading service, which is fantastic. And gold is three working days. You will never find anything like that. BGS, SGC, PSA, it's gonna take you ages. Just as an example, um, I sent cards off to, <laughs> to PSA more than 15 months ago, and I haven't had them back. So. A three working day service definitely uh, is appealing to me. So prices currently at the time of making this video are $9.99 per card, $19.99 per card, or $26.99 per card. Um, now just, you've got some interesting uh, facts on why you should choose um, MGC. A big one's gonna be their UK base, and there's a quick turnaround. Um, some anti-counterfeiting labeling technology is actually really, really interesting. So they don't use QR codes um, and they don't use um, barcodes, yeah, standard barcodes. So every MGC case is laced with tamper-proof security microchips, which is far more secure and safe than standard barcode or QR codes, which could be cr printed and actually counterfeited by anyone. So you can actually scan it on your phone, which is really, really cool to see. Um, you've got the nice viewing cases as well. You can see here where this is blue. If you do get a 10, this is gold as well on the brand new cases. Um, and actually something that interests me as well and may interest you as well if you're into NFTs, non-fungible tokens. A non-fungible token is a unit of data stored in the digital ledger called a blockchain. But what they do is they can turn your graded card into a one-of-a-kind NFT which can be traded, uh, sold, or you can hold it uh, digitally in your online wallet, which is really, really cool. So this is a grading company that's moving with the times. There's, They're going further and beyond. It's not a kind of a grading service, well, we'll just stick it in a slab and we'll give it a grade. They're doing the absolute most. So it's really, really good to see. So the first thing that you're going to want to, want to do with your cards, you're going to put them in a penny sleeve, you're going to put them in a... Um, semi-rigid holder that's the best way to store these and to send them off um, and then obviously package them up nicely put them in a nice box some uh, some uh, what are they called the bubble wrap in there um, and then you form eventually but the first thing you want to do is you want to pay for the card so if you select the service so as I said I'm going to go for the silver service here 
quantity of tra trading cards to be graded. I'm going to choose three and I'm going to add them to the cart. So item added to cart, we can view and check out. Here we go, so 59.97. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this out now. And then I'm going to fill in my details. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now the order's being processed. There we go, so I got a nice email to say thank you. Um, and it's on the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue shopping at the bottom. Um, and now we need to fill out our form. So what we need to do is go to the submission form. Submission form and address labeled download. So it says important message. Only complete the submission form and send your cards to us once you've paid and received confirmation. Email with your order number. So um, I do have that. So I'm going to download the form. Here it is. And then I'm going to go and print it out. So that is it. Now what we're going to do, that's it for the computer side anyway. What we're going to do now is we're going to fill out this uh, submission form and we're going to package the cards and send them off. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the top of this uh, bit here and we're going to attach that to, that's our label. We're going to attach that to the um, package and then there's an inside bit which obviously has got my details on so I can't show you. Um, which we're going to put on the this bit here, we're going to put on the bottom. Now you're also going to want to fill out the submission form, so you put the basic information about each card, and then at the bottom you can see you put in, um, add some basic information about the cards you wish to send in. Total number of cards, three. Okay, so today is the day. I have just received a parcel in the post. Um, these are my graded cards. Um, I must say that the service was absolutely fantastic. The turnaround was about, I think it was about two weeks um, for the silver service, which is exactly what they um, they tell you it's gonna be, which is fantastic. Um, the email correspondence was very, very good. They give you an update of when your cards arrive and also um, once they've graded your cards and then also once they've shipped them. So I must say the full service was absolutely fantastic. Um, they did exactly what they said they were going to do on the website. Um, it was really, really nice and smooth. So for someone that's used PSA and has submitted more than a year ago and hasn't had cards back, um, to have cards back from MGC in two weeks is, uh, is fantastic. So I'm very, very excited to open this up um, but I'm just tearing it <laughs> um, I'm tearing it straight open so if you remember we submitted three cards I think in total just take that out of shot because that's got my address on it right okay so this is the reveal this is exciting so um, open it up like this I think That's the best way to open it? Yeah. Okay, so we just slide it out here. Here we go, right, ready for this. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my God. I can see already we're starting off with a banger. So um, let's see if we can, how do we kind of, hmm. Right, let's use this Beckham card to slide it under so that we don't, Okay, there's nothing underneath. Right, so this is the first card. And we have got a gold label MGC10 to start us off. So, a very, very good start. We've got the 2020 Grand Prix Charizard in an E10. Now, you'll see, you can see the gold label up at the top here. And you've also got the gold foil on the back. Um, so, you can scan these cards, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, but, wow, what a card. And I must say, actually... There's nothing more I hate than seeing graded cards in these horrible baggy sleeves. And this sleeve fits the card 
perfectly, um, which is really good because it doesn't mean that I have to actually sleeve up the card myself. So very, very, very happy with this. Um, this is going to go straight into straight on the background behind me. Um, so there we go. A fantastic start. We've got a Charizard in an MGC 10. Bang. Right. OK, so for package number two, I think I'm going to open it upside down so that we don't reveal what the grades are. Um, yeah, OK, so we've done it. So shout out to here we go. Shout out to um, Soccer Kardashians and MGC. Um, you can use the code Kardashians for 15 percent off uh, your cards at Majesty Grading. There you go. So now we submitted the Roy King card. Obviously, this isn't going to be a 10. Um, I did pull this myself. Uh, let's see if we can. Can we not reveal it? I think we've done a good job there. So this is obviously not going to be C10. It's an old card. Um, it's from 1990 and they came out of the box, even when I, I was opening them up, they came out of the box all battered. So this is a eight, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, so yeah, the corners aren't, aren't the sharpest, I'll be honest, the edges aren't great. Um, it's probably got a bit of surface damage, I'm not going to lie. So I'm actually very, very happy with an eight. Um, the centering actually does look a little bit off as well. Um, but there we go, a 1991 Pro Set, oh, sorry, this is the 91 uh, Pro Set Roy Keane. This is the second year, not the, the rookie. I was going to submit the rookie. However, all of the ones I have are probably like MGC 4, 5, like they're they're really battered. So this one was kind of one of the better ones I had. So to have this in a, an 8, I'm actually really happy with. Um, an eight is a, a good grade and probably a true grade for, for this card. And so we have the Lewis Hamilton. Uh, let's go to the top. You can see there it is. And let's see what we got. Hopefully, I think this is a 10. I've, I've pre-graded it at a 10. <laughs> yes, we've got the MGC 10 in the Lewis Hamilton. So there we go. Very, very happy with this. This is the uh, Tops Now F1 card. There is one that predates this, the yellow background, um, which is worth quite a, quite a lot of money already. Um, I think I had the opportunity to pick it up at like 100 quid, 200 quid, and I, I didn't, and now it goes for a grand plus. But yeah, very, very happy. So I've, we've done really well here. We've got a, um, a Lewis Hamilton 10, a Charizard 10, and our Roy Keane in an eight. Um, I think that's probably as as good as you're going to get, really. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. The uh, the Roy Keane wasn't going to be a 10. I, I never expected it to. But to have the other two as a, a 10 is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I must say, they, they really look they look great. They, they look really, really nice in these slabs. And I must say, the gold definitely shines uh, better than the, the blue. I do like the blue. Um, it looks clean with the border. Um, I've seen some of the older borders are a bit thicker. I definitely prefer the look of uh, the newer slabs since they've changed them. Um, but to have that that gold logo on there, it does make that 10 like that extra bit special. Um, so I really, really like that. And I really do like the, the kind of the gold um, foil uh, type label that they've got with the British flag on. If you're from England, you can't you can't not love the a bit of patriotism there with the uh, the Union Jack on the back. But there we go. Um, that is my experience with MGC. Um, the question is, will I submit with MGC again? Yes, absolutely. Um, I have actually a pile of cards here. Um, I won't reveal too many of them because I am gonna, I'm gonna be sending these off and I'm gonna be doing a video covering that. But what I'm probably gonna do is um, have a kind of a series on my channel where monthly, I, I, once a month I submit uh, maybe five to 15 cards uh, off to MGC. So I kind of have, the idea is to be submitting stuff off to MGC quite regularly um, so that eventually I'll just start getting things back and I can give you um, some graded card videos. I mean, the turnaround for PSA is an absolute joke, so I don't think I'll be using them. SGC is a little bit expensive for me. Um, I may be sending some stuff off to M SGC, but I don't think, I, I, I can't say I will now, not after... Not after receiving these, and I think they look they look really good in these particular slabs. So, yeah, these for me are an absolute winner. Uh, thank you to MGC for being a grading company in the UK. Um, and there we go. 
I hope you did enjoy this video. Obviously, if you did, please do drop a big like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Check out MGC, and I'll see you on the next Sports Cards UK video. Thanks very much. Thank you.